pressing, but this is beyond the test pressing. Because test pressings they'll make like five to ten to up to a hundred. But lacquer's acetates, they make one, maybe two, if it's like, you know, the Rolling Stones or something. So he showed up with these misfits acetates or lacquers, whatever, reference discs for Walk Among Us. So right away I'm like, oh man, what's up with this? You know, I was like fucking going nuts. That I've collected the misfits since I was a kid, right? So um so Mike and I were just all over him. He's like, oh, these belong to Chris D. And he had these made when he mastered um, Walk Among Us. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. You know, like, fuck, how, how much do you want for him? He's like, 300 bucks. I'm like, ah, oh, 300 bucks. And like an idiot, I probably had it in my pocket because you go to these things with cash. You know, you go to spend money, you know. But I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know, 300 bucks. I don't know. And Mike and I are just looking at each other and, and he's a bigger junkie than I'll ever be. This guy's a badass collector. Mike Colacion. That guy knows his shit. So, um, so we both passed on it. We, and we left disgruntled talking about it. We probably talked about it for like, you know, hours after. And, you know, whatever. That, that was in the early 90s. And then like 10 years later, 10, 12 years later, my friend sends me an email. You know, you'll never guess what's on eBay right now. And I click on it. Ah. There they are, the same fucking lacquer. Once you touch something like that, you just never forget. You just know this is, the, you know, you're touching one in a lifetime thing. You know, like, like people that, you know, like it's gonna be in the Getty one day. So, so I'm looking at the fucking, I'm looking at it online. I'm like, ah, oh. I just clicked off it right away. Fuck, so I was just pissed. I'm like, how could I? You only regret the things you don't buy in life. You know, the things you buy, you know, it's cool and but what you really regret fuck, why didn't I get that test pressing or that, you know, that Iron Maiden one-sided, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, you always forget the things you don't buy. So I sat on it and I sat on it. It was like a 10-day auction, of course, you know, what a dick. And, um, and sure enough, the bidding could have gone up to like $3,000. Like, you know, what is that, like 110, 10 times, 10, 10, you know, 1,000 times what I fucking got the option to buy it for. So I'm like, fuck it. So I log on eSnipe and I sniped it. And I just went to sleep and I forgot about it. And like two days later, I, I, I check my, my emails, and there it is. You win. I'm like, oh, no. So I ended up, I bought them, I bought them on eBay, like, like, tw like, you know, 10, 12 years later. Here they are, proud owner. I paid, I want to forget the number, but it was like over 6,000 bucks. It was like 60-some hundred bucks. But, you know... When the Getty comes knocking, you know, here I am, you know. <laughs> that's, that's my, uh, these are my, I guess my holy grail. Cool, thanks. Thanks for sharing, man. Yeah, no problem. That's the day for it. Let's see if I get lucky. Eh? What's your name, buddy?